As a part of a project, Belt and Balance, Naturpark Lillebelt is working towards increasing the quality of Danish waters by making them a safe environment for the fauna and educating the community on how to enjoy the ocean and take care of its treasures. The core mission for the project is to create concrete improvements in the marine environment, one of which entails installation and monitoring of biohuts in the marinas and harbors of the Little Belt. A total of 50 biohuts and 6 mini-huts were installed, 12 in Fredericia, 8 in Skærbæk, 6 in each of the Milfart marinas and 6 in each of the Kaling harbors. Biohuts consist of two different compartments, one carrying the substrate for fish to find food and for more food to grow on. In this case, we used empty oyster shells. Another compartment serves the purpose of hiding spot for juvenile fish. Free hanging biohuts installed under pontoons or piers usually have two compartments on each side for fish to hide whereas the huts fixed onto a deck wall only have one that is facing away from the wall. Biohuts are built of stainless steel sheets of mesh. There are two kinds of steel mesh used, 5 by 5 cm for the hideout compartments and 3 by 3 cm for the substrate compartments. The steel sheets are assembled and held together with metal rings and the compartments are put together with a piece of rope. Once fully assembled and filled with substrate, the huts are mounted to the dock wall or a pier. The cages are attached to the wall with two permanent fixations and a temporary one to ensure a safe submersion of the biohut and then they are lowered into the water. This is followed by a full submersion when a diver releases the temporary fixings. The biohuts, now fully submerged, are ready for the fish to use. When left in water, undisturbed by humans, the biohuts change visually. The nurseries covered in algae start looking more like the natural habitats fish are deprived for because of the seabed simplifications around the harbors and marinas. Over time, an increasing activity by the biohuts can be noticed. A plethora of species attracted by the source of feed and a secure shelter is present by the nursery. In order to analyze the impact of the biohuts, video footage was taken and for each biohut, Max N index was produced for Golsani Ras, Atlantic Cod and Two Spotted Gobi. For reference, video footage of points that corresponded to the biohuts locations was analyzed. This is an example of how a max N index is determined. In this single freeze frame, five Golsinirasses are visible. If this is the highest number observed in a single freeze frame throughout the whole video, then the max N index for Golsinirass would be five. I was working with Colling and Fralesia data where the videos were taken on a total of 12 days and 14 biohuts were recorded, giving a total of 84 measurements for each species and treatment. For Atlantic Cod, single individuals have been observed 20 out of 84 times at the biohuts and 10 times at the reference points. For Gulstini Ras, 33 non-zero observations were noted in the reference areas, while at the biohuts there were between 1 and 5 individuals present in 48 observations. Regarding the two spotted gobies, they have been present in both the biohuts and the reference points, however their presence in the biohuts is much more tangible, 
as under half of the measurements of zero gobies have been taken at the bio huts, and only about 25% of the reference observations were non-zero. In order to test the effects bio huts have on the local fish abundance, I conducted a men with new test. At the significance level of 5%, it can be confirmed that the biohut populations for each fish has increased significantly compared to the reference points. Furthermore, I have calculated the relative increase in fish abundance and the results indicate that we have observed a 115% increase in Gulf Senoras, a 140% increase in Atlantic Cod, and a 219% increase in two-spotted goby abundance. The observations made in this project lead to the conclusions that the biohuts have helped build a local fish abundance for the species observed by offering a source of food and shelter. The results show that the biohuts group have doubled for the Atlantic Cod and the Gulls and Uras and tripled for two-spotted goby with respect to the reference group. Overall, the data suggests that the huts have become a habitat to fauna and thereby secured a crucial part of the marine life cycle.